when it comes to meditation, I like to remind people of the three C's. So first, the commitment to practice. Second is the consistency with which you practice. And third is the cumulative benefits. So if you really want to see the benefits of practicing meditation, you have to practice for a consistent amount of time. And in order to practice consistently, you really need to make the commitment to do so. And that means really setting aside time throughout your day and your week to practice. And maybe that starts with five minutes and it turns into 10 minutes and it turns into 20 minutes. Maybe it never even gets to 20 minutes. But just that consistency of setting aside time and practicing, you'll begin to see benefits benefits from, from your practice. And to add a fourth C, because it's my favorite benefit, um, I love that meditation really gives you a choice. So when you're practicing, for example, and your mind ends up going down a rabbit hole of thoughts, you gently and without judgment remind yourself to come back to the breath. And that aspect of like, oh, I'm noticing, I'm thinking, and now I'm reminding myself to come back to the breath, or I'm noticing that I wandered off the mantra and now I'm reminding myself to come back to it. That awareness that builds between you and your own mind, your own consciousness, starts to seep into different aspects of your life. So when you're feeling triggered, let's say, by an email or an angry spouse, let's say, and your body is feeling the chemical reactions as if a tiger was attacking you, you have the ability to sort of say, wow, um, that's definitely not a tiger who's attacking me. I can feel myself feeling a bit triggered. I can feel my mind going into all these places of fight or flight and wanting to lash out. And I also can feel my choice that I can be more open-hearted in this situation. I can show myself more compassion, the human in front of me more compassion, and, and maybe you know, choose a kinder way forward.